Local Eye Centre is where I see uh, adults and I see adults for a whole range of uh, eye problems, for example, blurring of vision, commonly due to cataracts and glaucoma. At the Children's Eye ENT Centre, uh, that's where I see uh, children with um, more specific eye issues, for example, blurring of vision due to myopia or astigmatism. In addition, I also see children with lazy eye issues as well as squints. Uh, squints are eye misalignment uh, problems and uh, basically um, in children if it's not detected early it can lead to a lazy eye problem which can subsequently cause uh, poor vision development. Um, in adults, um, the most common causes for blurring of vision is cataract, uh, glaucoma and uh, these conditions, if uh, not screened early, sometimes they, especially for glaucoma, uh, adults can present at a late stage where vision is uh, blurred and the visual loss is irreversible. Uh, therefore, we do encourage um, adults um, beyond the ages of 40 to 50 to actually get regular uh, eye screenings, maybe at least once a year, especially when there's a family history of glaucoma. Uh, cataracts are uh, ever present in our aging population and uh, if adults find that with vision correction uh, with glasses they still cannot get optimal vision then uh, it's about time to get the eye screen for cataracts. Um, cataract can actually be uh, treated fairly easily these days with uh, cataract surgery and lens implant and increasingly uh, we're moving on to earlier and earlier correction because the technology is much more advanced than before and uh, there's very little downtime. So myopia is the most prevalent uh, eye disease amongst all the countries and Singapore has the highest rate of myopia among school children. Um, however, the good news is that uh, myopia can now be controlled in a, a medically validated way. Previously, we used to just be resigned to having our kids wear glasses. Uh, however, now uh, we actually treat myopia by reducing the rate of progression uh, by prescribing an eye drop called atropine. So atropine actually works by uh, slowing the progression of myopia. It cannot eliminate the myopia, but it can slow the progression such that uh, the end point would be much less than if a child were not on uh, atropine treatment at all. However, not all kids are suitable for it and they need to be assessed um, by the ophthalmologist to decide whether or not uh, they are uh, good candidates for this treatment.